Hi, welcome to second tutorial on SE IDOC. In this, in this tutorial, we will look at the IDOC anatomy and then we will uh, look at the steps required in setting up an IDOC in SAP. So let's start with the IDOC anatomy. So So what is an IDOC? So as we discussed earlier, an IDOC is basically a data container. It is an object, you can call it a file, which has data in it, and it carries data from one SAP system to another system, which could be an SAP system or a non-SAP system. It's a type of electronic messaging. The IDOC is an acronym, and it stands for Intermediate Document. The purpose of IDOC is to transfer data or information from SAP to other system, which could be SAP or non-SAP and vice versa. As IDOC is transferred from SAP to another SAP system using SAP AALE, which is application link enabling technology. Now we have this thing shown in the image here. So you see SAP system one, it is sending the IDOC uh, to SAP system 2 and through the SAP ALE application link enable, enabling technology, right? Now, what you can say ALE is basically connecting the SAP to a middleware. This middleware could be, uh, for example, MuleSoft. So middleware is, uh, is a, again, another uh, non-SAP system. So when you send an uh, IDOC, SAP will send it to this uh, middleware. It will receive that IDOC and then send it to the uh, second system, which could be SAP or non-SAP system. So consider SAP system one as one home address one, and consider IDOC as a, a letter or a item which you want to send through a courier, and consider your middleware uh, or a PI system as a courier or a postman service, which will collect the box from you, uh, which is house one, and take it to the house two, which is SAP system two. Let's look at the IDOC anatomy. So IDOC is divided into three, three parts, control records, data records, and status records. Control records define the, give the IDOC number, give its partner number, which is the identification for the system one, SAP system one, and then another uh, system, which is SAP system two, or on the delivery address. Then the type of IDOC, you can have different types of IDOCs. We will discuss them in detail, like IDOC to transfer the customer master data, vendor master data, cost center data, transactional data like invoices, customer invoices, vendor invoices, material master, sales orders, etc. Many types of IDOCs. The next segment is data records. Data records is actually the data that the this box the IDOC contains and it is sending or it is receiving. So, and finally, the last segment is the, the last part is the status record. Status record basically shows what is the status finder. When you receive the IDOC, is it successfully processed? Is the information in the IDOC posted into the SAP or has it failed? So if it has failed, there is an error message. If it is posted successfully, there is success matter, uh, success message. Or there could be in-between state, which is showing in process. That is, it's neither failed nor uh, successfully posted. In this case, you have to reprocess the IDOC. So we will look at these uh, aspects later in the lecture. Uh, now, let me log into a SAP and go to an actual IDOC and show you these uh, main parts. So I've logged into SAP. The transaction code to display an IDOC is WE02. You can see this in the presentation also, transaction code is WE02. So you basically go to the SAP screen, select your system, uh, double click it. Once you are here, you have to give your username. I have a username here. You give your password, whatever the password. Now you have logged in. Uh, on the top side, left hand side, you have this window. Window here, you enter what we call as transaction code. So W02 is a transaction code. Enter that, and in this screen, 
So this is the screen to display the IDOC, give the date. I have chosen a range called 54 2021 to 284. In the logical message type, enter the IDOC type. So for now, enter, I have entered CREMAS, but we will discuss this more in detail. CREMAS is a type of IDOC. And this IDOC sends the sends or receive the vendor master. So I have entered the IDOC type CREMAS. Now click this clock execute and we see a lot of these cremas outbound cremas and uh, that status 29 is failed status 3 success so let's take one of these success i double click the idoc number and you see the three parts control records let's double click and see control record so basic type idoc type is cremas 05 is the version that is the latest version Partner, you have the partner, the sender system, SAP TST, and the partner number. This, all this, we will be setting up in the SAP later, right? And then there is some technical information here. So going back to the next part is the data record. This is the actual piece of the IDOC. Here you have the data, the records which the IDOC is carrying. So you see the Lifner number. This is the a uh, field name for vendor number. So this is the vendor number here. The company, this is the company name here. And this is the date, 2021-0104. The user, username is there. And you have KTOKK, which is the account group, vendor account group. This, all these details, I have another course called SAP Finance and Controlling. If you go through it, that will make you a master a very uh, competent in SAP finance and controlling area. So you will have in-depth, detailed lectures on all the finance and controlling areas. So you will understand all that if you go to that course. A land one refers to the country, name one refers to the name of the vendor and uh, so on. So you have these various segments and each of these segments have these fields where the data is populated. Uh, this M1M, this purchasing area uh, data, you have this uh, purchase organization MKCH. Again, the date is there, user is there, currency is US dollar, the payment terms triple zero one, in core term FOB, free on board, and so on. Yeah, uh, let's go back and there is one more part, the status part. Status part 03 is what success. So you can see the green. Uh, uh, part and this is data passed to port. Okay, so date port is XML3 as we saw in the control records and saying okay that is that means it has successfully passed to the port and the uh, state is appearing as green light which means IDOC has been processed successfully. So uh, let's look at an another IDOC status 29 here. If you look at the status here it is red. That means the IDOC has not processed successfully. You see the red has error. What is the error? Look below. You have a uh, description of the error. I will double click it. It says no global company code assigned to company code this thing. So there is a missing configuration. Company code, global company code is not assigned to this company code MK21. Well, I did that. After that, I processed the IDOC again. It was successful. So here you see now the three parts of the IDOC, the control records, data records, and the status records. Let's go to the next topic. And here I have a case study. So what the state case study is that we have this company Home Tech Solution. This will manufacture, sell cars, runs on SAP ERP. It will send its vendor data, master data to the supplier ABC Corporation, who also runs on SAP. And ABC Corporation now does services on behalf of Home Tech Solution. Well, ABC serve because ABC Corporation is doing serve car service on behalf of Home Tech Solution. So it sends these invoices back to the Home Tech Solutions. So here below we have a, a diagram of this data flow. So you have a ERP system of the Home Tech Solution. This will send the vendor master data. Uh, of uh, from its system to the ABC Corporation. You have a middleware, which could be, a, I will say, MuleSoft or any other SAP application layer. And uh, the IDOC type that will be carrying this data is called CREMAS, which we have just now said. So this is the IDOC type. 
IDOC. Basically, the IDOC, the IDOC which is carrying this vendor master data is scree mass. And middleware will receive this scree mass and then pushes it into the uh, ABC corporation system, which could be SAP, non SAP, doesn't matter, right? They will receive it and uh, process this data. Now, the uh, ABC corporation ERP system will collect the vendor invoices, AP invoices for the car services done by them. And here the IDOC type used is ACC invoice received, right? So if it's a SAP system, they will use this IDOC type. If it's a non-SAP system, uh, I mean, they can create a flat file, XML file, or this middleware can log into this uh, non-ERP system, go to a staging table, pick up this data, and then uh, they have something called IDOC transformation tool. Most of this middleware like MuleSoft have IDOC transformation tools. So they will take this data from the staging table of this system, ABC Corporation, and convert into a format called IDOC and of the IDOC type ACC invoice received. This will then it will push to the SAP ERP Home Tech solution where once they receive the IDOC in the real time, these IDOCs will be processed and posted into the SAP. So everything being done in the real time. So this is the case study. We will configure this particular model uh, in the SAP and test it. Configuration steps. Let's look at the configuration step. The configuration steps in IDOC configuration are as below. You have to maintain the ports. So the transaction code is WE21. Create a logical system, BD54. RFC destination, SM59. Create partner profile, WE20. Create distribution model and filters, BD64. Send vendor master IDOCs. This is more of a transactional data. BD14, verify your IDOC, WE02, AL11. Test your IDOCs, inbound, outbound, WE19. And then we will have some more steps here. So in the next tutorial, we will start with the configuration of outbound IDOCs. Thank you.